to teach you how to make this skirt. It's a really easy way to make a skirt because it uses a few basic mathematical concepts to make a perfectly fitting skirt. Let's see how it's done. So the first step is to pick out some pretty fabric. You could also make this with an old bed sheet or tablecloth or something you already have like I'm doing. Just make sure you ask a parent if it's okay to use. So now that we have our fabric, we need to learn a little bit about circles. So let me show you something cool. Here I have three bowls or three different sized circles and I'm gonna measure the circumference or the distance all the way around the outside and the diameter or the distance straight across the circle. Now I'm gonna take the ratio, which means I'm gonna divide the circumference and the diameter. You see we get 3.125, 3.137, and 3.1. These numbers are all about the same, right? They're all about 3.1. What's going on here? What is this magical number and why is it showing up for all of my circles? Well, this is actually a number called pi. A good way to remember this is think of a pie, like an apple pie or a pumpkin pie, because that's a circle too. Pi is about 3.14159265358979. Actually, pi never ends. Right now, as we speak, we have huge computers working to calculate every single digit of pi. And even if we gave them an infinite amount of time, they'd never reach the end because pi goes on forever. And as we just saw, pi is the ratio between the circumference and the diameter. And I didn't choose three special circles where this is true. This is true for any circle, no matter how big or how small. If you take the circumference and divide by the diameter, you will always get pi. Well, that's kind of cool, right? But why am I telling you this? I'm supposed to be teaching you how to make a skirt. Well, this is a circle skirt, so pi might be kind of helpful. So there are a few different versions of this skirt. There, you could do a quarter, a half, or a full. The difference is how much fabric you need and how full your skirt is gonna be. Today, I'm gonna make a half circle skirt. Here's what we need. Fabric, a measuring tape, pins, scissors, a sewing machine or a needle and thread, and then an optional zipper and optional trim to put along the bottom of the skirt. And we need one more definition about a circle. The radius. The radius is halfway across the circle or half the diameter. So here's the design of a circle skirt, and we need to find the radius of our waist. How do you do that? Start by measuring around your waist with the tape measure. Do you remember the word for the distance around a circle? We're measuring the circumference. So now let's take a look at this equation again. Circumference divided by diameter, or C divided by D, equals pi. And as a reminder, we're looking for the radius, which is half the diameter. Or we could also say that two times the radius equals the diameter. So C divided by two times R equals pi. Now we need to do some algebra to isolate R. If you haven't seen math like this before, don't worry. Just try to understand circumference, radius, diameter, and pi. So first I'm gonna multiply both sides by R, and then I'm gonna divide both sides by pi. Our new equation is C divided by two pi equals R. And that's true, but we're not quite done. This would be perfect if we were making a full circle skirt, but I'm making a half circle skirt. I will insert some pictures to try to help explain what I mean, but we need to double the circumference to make sure that our waistline is a full circle. Because we're sewing, we need to add about an inch of seam allowance, or about an inch more fabric so that when we sew it, it will still fit us the way we measured it. So our final equation is two times the circumference plus one inch of seam allowance divided by two pi. And then one last measurement, we need to know how long the skirt is going to be. So measure from your waist, however long you want your skirt to be, and write down that number. Now take your fabric and fold it in half. This will make it easier to draw on your measurements and cut them out. Then draw your radius around one corner like this, and measure from that to draw on your length like this. So now you should have two quarter circles drawn on your fabric. You can cut those out, and then you'll have a shape like this. The first step is to pin in your zipper if you're using one, and then sew from the bottom of the zipper to the bottom of your skirt. Then attach the zipper by sewing around it. Next, we're gonna make a waistband. So take some leftover fabric that is the same length as the circumference or the distance around your waist plus three inches, and then four inches wide. Cut out that rectangle and fold it in half lengthwise and iron it to make a crease. Then fold it the other way and sew down each side with a straight stitch. Now fold it back the way you ironed and push out the corners like this and you'll see we have a long strip of fabric that we can attach to our skirt. 
Take that waistband you just made and your skirt and pin them right sides together around the top of the skirt or around the waist of your skirt. Then sew a straight stitch all the way around to attach the waistband to the skirt. Next, fold the skirt inside out and pin the other side of the waistband to the inside of the skirt and sew along that with a straight stitch as well. Now the waistband is fully attached to your skirt. The last step, either hem all the way around the bottom or add a trim or something to the bottom like this, and here's your final results. I will have a more detailed description on how to make this skirt link below, as well as an easier version in case you're new to sewing and don't want to deal with a zipper and a waistband and things like that. So let's recap what we learned. We learned that the circumference is the distance around a circle, the diameter is the distance across a circle, the radius is the distance halfway across the circle or half of the diameter, and finally, if you take the circumference, divide by the diameter of any circle, no matter the size, you will always get pi. Thanks for watching.